my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Nova Known Creations and I'm Nova and today I thought I would do a little crochet and chat hangout kind of session with you guys. Um, I am currently working on just free handing a crystal spriggan. Um, you guys, if you've been around for a little bit, you may have seen me make a few other crystal spriggans. They are more of a vibe than any sort of specific um, features or characteristics at this point. Um, this one I'm thinking I'm going to go moss with. I kind of want like a mossy vibe. So I'm using this um, Lion Brand Chenille Appeal Yarn, which has this like shininess to it. It's like got like a crushed velvet. I have no idea what, if anything, got recorded. Um, I was just talking for like 20 minutes while I crocheted and <laughs> then I went to stop recording for a second and realized it wasn't recording. So that's cool. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will start over um, and try to remember everything I said. But I was saying, for one, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. I was saying, um, you know, this is Nova Gnome Creations and all that stuff. Um, and I'm Nova, and I'm so happy you guys decided to join me today. Um, Today I am doing a little crochet and chat. I thought I would crochet with you guys or, you know, whatever kind of craft or whatever you're getting up to. Um, let me know down in the comments what you're working on while we hang out today. What you're working on while we, yeah, yeah, well, I felt, thought I messed that up. Um, I am working on freehanding a little crystal spriggan. Um, if you've been around a little bit lately, you will have seen me make a couple of other crystal spriggans. Um, and that they're more of a vibe than any, you know, specific discernible features. Um, like physically and everything, they can vary. Um, the concept for them is that they are just little little small folk <laughs> and that they um, hang out in caves and abandoned mines and things like that looking for crystals. So that is their like obsession. They just are obsessed with crystals. It is their um, their life force, I guess. They want, they just are very, very like in tune with them. Um, and some even have special abilities that can help them. So kind of like magic. Um, some of them have kind of magical abilities or um, if you want to think of it in like a sciencey way, maybe they evolved to have these special traits that would help them to find crystals. Um, and then some of them are more, you know, mundane and normal and they just use regular skills um, and mining and things like that. So that is what crystal spriggans are. Um, I wanted to do a little free-handed one. I'm doing him with little short legs. Um, and I'm using, let me get to the end of this round and I'll show you the yarns I'm using. Um, I already did that, but I'm pretty certain it didn't film it. Let me make sure, yes, it's still filming right now. Okay, so... This is what it's looking like so far. Um, I'm currently working it up to be a good length for my arms, which I think it's about there. Want to want to decrease in more, um, so I'm going to do some decreasing. I did a little bit of decreasing as I went up, but I want to make it a little bit sharper now that I'm getting up to the top. Um, I'm using this Lion Brand Chenille Appeal yarn. It's this like let's get cozy uh, yarn. It is so soft and it is so pretty. Look at the shine on that. It's got like a crushed velvet kind of look to it. Um, I literally love this yarn. So I knew I wanted to do like an amigurumi with it. This is a four weight chenille yarn. It is a thin, very thin chenille yarn. Um, and then I'm double stranding that. And I what I did was I started out double stranding the hands. Um, I did like up to here on this one and then I decided to switch yarns so up to here on this one and then I went ahead and did the same thing on the second arm um, I was using Big Twist Glisten as my secondary yarn which is this really pretty kind of sagey color um, sparkly but it has 15% mohair in it and so it's got this hairy 
halo to it um and i just wasn't feeling it i really wasn't feeling the fuzz on there um also this yarn is not as soft it's got a little bit of a little bit of a scratchier texture to it um not bad but i this is so soft that i was kind of wanting to use something a little bit softer with it so i switched to let me get this out of my yarn bowl i switched to this yarn which you have probably seen a little bit i use this um it's getting kind of empty in there i use this randomly um on other things too usually things that don't take a whole lot. Um, it is a three weight or maybe a two weight. It's a pretty, pretty thin yarn. Um, this was a Hobby Lobby hank that I got out of the clearance when they were like discontinuing a bunch of their hanks. Um, last year, the year before last, I can't remember. Um, it's so pretty. It's so soft. It's like a, um, um, merino, like a, well, what are they called? My brain is wanting to put ultra wash merino and I don't think that's what it is. But regardless, it's a very, very soft um, and sparkly and it brought more color to it, but while also kind of fitting in with that um, sort of earth tony vibe and I wanted to bring more color in. So I thought that was a really good choice. And those are the yarns I'm using. Um, then I just made my arms cause I'm gonna work those in as I get, uh, as I work around. Um, I think we'll do three and then decrease. And I don't know why I'm using a stitch marker really because I'm not really keeping track in that way, but just toss that stitch marker to the side for now. Um, and then I made it little nubby legs and connected them together and I'm working up the torso. So I want it to be a smaller t size of um, crystal Spriggan on the smaller side. Um, like the last one I made was also pretty small. So I wanted something that would work up quick. Um, I felt like, you know, working on something I could finish relatively quickly. And then I want to do, um, accessories for it. So my other two, one of them has a basket with crystals in it and then it's got like the tentacle um, antenna type things on its head and it, those are its feelers. Um, that one is having um, a special ability that it can feel the vibrations of crystals in the earth. Um, I can't remember if it was this recording or the one that didn't record that I explained what crystal spriggans were. Um, but just in case I didn't explain what they were, uh, they are little small folk that like to get crystals. They hang out in caves and underground, um, like abandoned mines, not like, uh, not underground, but like abandoned mines, which I mean, they are underground, but okay. Anyway. <laughs> um, and they just are obsessed with crystals. They love to hunt for crystals. That is just like their life. That's what they do. Um, and then some of them have special abilities that help them find crystals. So like I said, that first one has, um, like feelers basically that send, uh, that, that pick up on vibrations sent off by crystals. My second one is wearing a like couple of vests and like a little crystal necklace. Um, then it has like little wavy horns and little spiky ears. That was a, um, an impkin. I, I used an impkin, uh, pattern for that. The first one was a free handed one. And then this one is going to be free handed. And my idea so far is I'm thinking maybe to do a utility belt and do like little, um, pockets off of the utility belt and put like crystals in them. And I'm also thinking about potentially trying to make a pickaxe. Um, I'm not really sure how I'll go about that. Probably more crafty than crochet, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do more decreasing this round. I should probably start stuffing this though. Oh, I think my stuffing is in the other room. Um, you know what? I think my stuffing's in the other room, so this will be a good opportunity to stuff with yarn scraps. So sometimes I like to stuff with yarn scraps um, as my stuffing. So when I am working on stuff, I just stick all of my yarn scraps in bags 
and then I can pull them out and I can use them as stuffing. So we'll just do a little bit of yarn scrap stuffing. It's been a while. And I'm gonna be, I wanna cinch in a little bit more and then I'm gonna do the head. Yeah, I think this one will probably be sturdy enough. I got these, um, where did I put them? I got these little um, hair rollers at the dollar store that I wanna try out as like um, in place of wire or like as neck stabilizers, but I don't think that I'm gonna need them for this project. I am working on another project that I think I'm gonna be using them a lot in. So I'll definitely be letting you guys know how that works out. So the way that I stuff with yarn scraps is I take this, um, these are like little stuffing sticks that come with polyfill, um, that come with my polyfill anyways. It's just like the polyfill brand polyfill. Um, but you could also use chopsticks and actually something else that I really like to use is pencils, like regular wooden pen pencils, um, not mechanical, which I mean, you might be able to use mechanical, but um, the eraser end. I like to use the eraser end because it has like a little bit of traction to it and it'll kind of stick itself to the yarn a little bit when you're pushing it in instead of pushing past the yarn which sometimes this will push past or usually it's polyfill not yarn but sometimes this will push past the polyfill when you're trying to poke it down so right now I'm just stuffing down into the legs and then I'll work my way up the torso a little bit and then I'm going to decrease because I wanted to um stuff it a little bit before this hole starts to get you know significantly smaller and then is more difficult to stuff I want to make sure I can get down in the legs particularly but yeah so if you are crafting along with me today let me know what you're working on are you working on a crochet project or you know are you doing something different or are you just chilling chilling like a villain uh today is tuesday and it is the last week of school here um my hubby is a school bus driver so it's his last week of school bus driving for this school year and we might potentially be having some changes next school year because he is thinking about trying a different job this summer um he really really likes being a school bus driver but with the current economy he's um considering switching to something else um that pays better so it's a good time to do it in the summertime because then if he would rather go back to school bus driving you know it's not it's not as big of a um like black and white like I'm done doing this type of thing he can kind of trial run it and see how it goes see how different the pay is you know all that good jazz so wish us luck in that and those changes change is hard we are not big on change I know most people aren't so I'm sure you guys can relate but change is scary <laughs> but it could be a really good thing. So that is what we've kind of got going on. Some changes in the Nova Gnome household. But other than that, um, everything's kind of the same, I think, as far as updates go on stuff. There we go. I think this is looking so good with yarn scraps in there. Can't tell, can't tell at all. And it's still so soft and squishy put a little bit more in here and then continue crocheting but yeah so this is what I am working on today thought I would pop in here and say hi show you guys what I'm up to um crochet and chat for a little bit I want to go make a coffee soon right now I'm drinking a lime water um it's just a carbonated water um or sparkling water and then I added a little bit of lime juice to it um but I would like to 
go make myself a nice big iced coffee here shortly. Well, I would like to be drinking a nice big iced coffee, which requires me also making a big iced coffee. <laughs> I said that I would like to go make one, but I don't really want to go make one. I just want to have one. But that requires making one. <laughs> but yeah, so now that I did that, I had gotten to, I had already started to single crochet and gotten to where I wanted to decrease. So I'm just going to decrease more here. Probably going to do two single crochets and a decrease. And because I'm freehanding this, um, I'm not super concerned about stitch counts and stuff. Like if, you know, two single crochets and a decrease actually fits perfectly into my stitches for the round or not, I'm not really concerned about that. Um, not really uh, keeping track in that way. I'm just kind of eyeballing it and doing what I want to do. All right, so let's see how that looks. What in the world did I just do? I split my yarn. <laughs> let's see how this looks as far as cinching in for almost neck. Yeah, I think that looks good. All right, so I'm gonna start working my arms in. I uh, went across the top and single crocheted so that I can just single crochet them in to the body without having to sew them on, which I always enjoy doing that um, because then they're in the same spot on both sides that I don't have to sew them on. And I don't know, I just prefer doing it, it's easier. <laughs> so a lot of times I'll actually modify patterns um, that have you sew the arms on to work them in. Um, sometimes you wanna sew the arms on if it's like an arm that's gonna be shaped differently, but most of the time this is kind of like the general thing that you're doing, um, that they're just gonna come to a flat part. I've got this mohair on here from when I was working with that mohair yarn and I've literally been doing this cutting off the halo because I am just not feeling it on this project. I don't want the halo on there. Um, so yeah, that's what I was just doing. Okay, let's see, this will be the front. Hmm, this is technically the back of my work but I might like it a little bit better actually. Let's, let's stop and look at this and try to pick out what side we want the front to be. I mean, obviously they're pretty similar and I like both sides, um, but I feel like this side has a little bit more color to it. Hmm, I don't know, this side, this part looks cool though. Okay, I'll just keep this as my front, but I wanted to try to decide which arms, do I want them to lay more flat or do I want them to stick up? I think I kind of like them sticking up a little bit. So if I do that one, I mean, obviously the arms are the same, but they have a natural way that they want to lean a little bit. So I was like trying to pick which one I wanted to add first. The um, basic general recipe of what I did, by the way, or pattern of what I did. I might need to undo one stitch. Let's see. Eh, maybe not, we'll see. I want this to kind of be a little bit more forward facing, so I might not need to do undo a stitch, but I might I might go back and undo a stitch. Um, the general basic recipe that I did or pattern that I did for this is um, the arms are single crochet six into a magic circle and then I just did a single a uh, single crochet and then an increase and that is what I did for the arms the rest of it is just single crocheting around um, I was just feeling really like simple and basic I didn't feel like um, doing a whole lot of shaping um, so I kept it really simple and then I just eyeballed those 
to make them the same length and then I single crocheted across the top. Yeah, I'm still not sure. Yeah, I think that might be good. Um, and then the legs, I just made one leg and then I made the other leg and connected them together so that I could crochet around um, to go up into the torso. And for the legs, trying to see, I'm probably gonna do one single crochet and then start working that in. Um, for the legs, I did six single crochets in a magic circle and then I did a round of increases um, so that it put me at 12 and then I just single crocheted up. So like same as with the arms, I wasn't feeling like doing a whole bunch of shaping uh, or anything too involved. I just wanted something simple and relaxing that would work up pretty quick and um, that I could, you know, just play around with. So if you're wanting to make one of these, that's literally all I did. Um, and then I just worked them so that they looked about the same length uh, for the legs and I kept it pretty short. Um, because I was thinking like little short nubby legs sounded cute. So that's what I did. All right, let's see what we're thinking of this arm placement. So they are pretty close together. Um, but do I like it like that? Or do I want them a little bit more spread out? I kind of like it like this, but I think, looking at the back of it, I think I want them a little more spread out. So I'm gonna undo that and start my, um, start my arms a little bit earlier. But yeah, so if you're wanting to make something like this, then that is the general concept of what I got going on. And then I just, um, as far as the torso goes, I just single crocheted around. And then I think I did like four single crochets and a decrease um, in there at some point. And then once I got higher up and was like pretty close to wanting to put my arms in, I did um, single cro uh, three single crochets and a decrease and then two single crochets and a decrease uh, for two rounds like right consecutively. And I stuffed right before the second one before the two. And then once I get these arms on here, I'll probably decrease a little bit more and then I will start working on the head. But yeah. I think that that's probably pretty good for a little crochet and chat. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today. Um, I will see you guys again really soon. I hope you guys are staying safe, having a good time, making some time for yourself, getting a little bit of crafting in, um, or just relaxing, you know, doing, doing whatever's going to bring you a little bit of joy just for yourself, not because someone else asked you to do it, not because you feel obligated to do it, but just because you want to do it. Something that, you know, you're going to enjoy. So that is what I'm working on so far. You guys will see the finished uh, make for this probably later this week. And I will see you guys again real soon. Have a beautiful rest of your day and a beautiful rest of your week. I love you guys so much and I will see you around.